So here we are looking at rational and radical forms. And we are going to start by rewriting into radical or rational form. And this is the formula we shall be using here. And so if I have 6 raised to 1 third, this will be the same as 6. This is going to be the same as 6. And this is going to be the cube root of 6. Because you can see the n is the denominator, is the one which becomes the nth root. Uh, so n is represented by 3 and x is represented by 1 in this case. So this one, because it's negative, I'm going to write 1 over. And then this is going to be 7. And the denominator is 3, so that's going to be cube root of 3. And then 2, I'm going to square everything. The next one, this one we are doing the opposite. So this is going to be 10. We have 3 as a denominator. And the numerator is going to be 5. The next one here, be 1 over. This is going to be 5. The denominator is 3. And the numerator is 4. So that, that will be the answer. Okay. So here we are told to simplify. So this is the same as 2 raised to power 5. And I'm going to raise it to 2 to power 5. See this cancels out. So we have 2 raised to power 2 which is equals to 4. So here we have 10,000. And see, because I see the exponent is negative, well, I'm, and what I'm going to do is to rewrite it as 10,000, so four zeros, x to power 12. And this is 2 thirds and then I'm going to I can rewrite this one as 10 to power 4 and then this is x to power 12 and then this is the exponent is 2 thirds then I'm going to multiply the exponent inside distribute the exponent so this is going to be 10 to power 8 or 3 and this is going to be x 12 times 2, 24, divided by 3, to power 8. But I can see here, here I have a fraction. So this is the same as 10 and 2, 8 divided by 3 is 2 and 2 thirds. And this is equals to x to power 8, still the same. Since I see this is 10, so here I can actually break this down. So this is 10 squared and then multiply by 10 to part 2 thirds. 10 is to 2 thirds and then x to power 8. Since this is 10 squared, that one is simply a hardlet, I can simplified so that's 100 this i cannot be able to simplify it anymore so that's just going to be 10 to power 2 over 3 and then x to power 8 or another way i could write this answer i could write it as a radical i could write 100 x to power 8 and see I can write this as a in that as a radical so this is going to be cube root of 10 squared so that's another way I can write that answer right there 10 squared Okay, so let's evaluate these ones here. 
So here, I want to break this down. So I see 56 is the same as 8 times 7. So an 8 times 7, I can break that as 2 to power 3 times 7. So that's how I'm going to write this one. So net minus 2 raised to power 3 times 7. And then we have x to power. We have x to power 8, y to power 8. And we are looking for the cube root. And so here, this is going to be negative 2. I distribute. So this, this is, should be 1 third. So this is going to be. So negative 2, 3 times 1 third is just going to be 2. And then 7 raised to 1 third. And then this is going to be x raised to, remember this is 8 divided by 3, so 2 and 2 thirds, and y raised to 2 and 2 thirds. And remember, here I'm now going to see how we can simplify it more. This is negative 2, this is x squared and x to two thirds. So I'm going to rewrite it as, so this is x squared and we have y squared here. And then all the ones which are radicals, I will leave them. All the ones I cannot simplify because here I have seven. So I have my radical there, cube root of seven and then cube root of x squared y squared so that will be the answer that will be the answer right there remember for the fraction if i can elaborate a little more just i had as i had done above see this one here is the same as x squared times x two thirds. And then the x squared, I just put it out here. And then I, I was left with the ones I couldn't simplify still under the radical. Okay, let's do another example here. So our next example, this is 375. 375 is the same as 125 times 5. And 125 is the same as 5 cubed times 3. So 5 cubed is 125 times 3. And then we have, then we have the u to the power 7, v to the power 8 and we are multiplying all those by 1 third and then c5 3 times 1 third so it becomes just 5 then this is 3 times 1 third so that's just going to be to remain as 3 raised to 1 third there is to one third. And then we have seven. And then we have, no, not seven, but we have u raised to seven over three. And then we have v raised to eight over three. So the five, in the final answer, so this is going to be five. And we have seven divided by three. So you're left with u squared. And then the fraction is going to stay at the radical. And then we have v to what power? A divided by three is two. And then what still remains at the radical? Cube, cube root. So we have the three 
and we have u raised to what was the remainder. So one is the remainder because it is two remainder one, and then for eight divided by three, the remainder is two. So, and that's the answer for that question.